Next up, we'll have a little talk about food and Chef Nico. Welcome, Chef. Thank you. How are you guys doing today? We are exceptional. Tell them about the title of your presentation, a quick brief insight to who you are, cooking with terpene, Chef Nico, uh, fresh food concepts, and all that kind of good stuff. Let me shout up again. All right, all right. Well, good afternoon in New Jersey. Good morning in California. Uh, well, basically, it's going to take a little time to understand everything that I'm all about. So we're just going to go back a little bit. <clears throat> uh, I was raised in a very strict household where I inherited procedures and systems of lifelong sustainable nutrition. And by around the age of 13, I had studied every international decimal point unit of every fruit and vegetable alphabetically. So now at this point, I was dialing my metabolic ratio to think sharper and clearer in school, perform quicker in sports, prevent recovery for injuries and how that would recover faster, as well as control anxiety and depression during teenage puberty. And this one of a kind child, but it was because of the math in my nutrition. Greetings. My name is Chef Nico. I have been in the culinary arts sector for over 25 years, actively studying neurological bionutrition for over 39 years and over 15 years of private in-home culinary service to a handful of celebrities, high profile clients and pro athletes. I am a naturalist, vegetarian and herbalist from birth and before birth. Now in the sector, I provide guidance and training to develop positive health skills and nutritional techniques to handle the challenges of a mass produced grab and go world. Strategies to execute metabolic coding effective in all business and community engagements. This is a number of areas that support health. Uh, I focus on every pathway leading to what I call confidential lifestyle management and planning. You see, science teaches you that gene profiling controls the device which creates optimal health. And if you don't know the code to exist or to assist with your genetic profiling, you are powerless. And well, when people believe that they are powerless, they become irresponsible which is why we have so much inflammation nowadays because the grab and go industries, they are not focusing on the levels of nutrition. They are focusing on the price points. So in addition to that, it's leaving fate and health structure to conventional medical methods. Now those methods are good, but these methods say that you are a biochemical machine with neurological bio computers firing electrical signals to control your nutritional codes, which is true. I quantify that every day. So with that understood, what I'm about to say will represent a key standard in my career. Ready? All right, here it goes. If the logic of my healing profession works in agreement with nature and science, then my healing profession is a benefit to my clients. But if my healing or if healing professions don't understand that connection between nature and science, then the healing profession can be a detriment to the client. And with that understood, we'll just move on. So by studying the wholeness and the entanglement of the causes and effects in one's life, I can code atomic nutrition accurately to fit the unique lifestyle of my clients. And then we save that formula on their personal web page so my clients can track their results, receive education, schedule Zoom meetings, have access to virtual assistance from my VR team, as well as content video so they can seamlessly execute the steps of the plan. Thus making nutrition the original STEM technology, which leads to the title of the presentation, The Nutrition of STEM Technology. So I will briefly talk about each letter and how 
in a row, they relate to nature. And for those that don't understand the word STEM, STEM means science, technology, engineering, and math. So the, and this is in my sector. So the S stands for science and healing professionals, understanding science and nature together, as we covered that briefly. The T stands for technology, giving my clients virtual atomic nutrition at a touch of a button via their own private web page link. The E would stand for engineering, highlighting that modern physics, which is quantum physics, has birthed the design, analysis, optimization, atomic ratio profiling, and evolution of computerizing health to help me help my client bridge the gap between practical algorithms and the use of software engineering to achieve coded nutrition. And then finally M, which means mathematics, which for STEM, it's like a building with many floors and the lower floors are the foundation for the floors above. Therefore, the first floor is science, or the first floor in science is math. Now, understanding that through Newton's law, teaching us differential calculus for planet positioning, and that same understanding goes all the way to how atoms vibrate, making cells autoreceptive. I can quantify the biomass chemicals we get from live plant matter controlling the biological expression of the amygdala. Now that is a spot in the brain that controls the feelings and emotions. This is the same location where neurological cannabinoids connect with cannabis. And this shines some light on athletes in cannabis. This way we can understand that it is the pathways that allow all of these products that we can enjoy from cannabis to actually work. Because they are organic matter, if we are not understanding how to consume and are properly coding ourselves with organic matter, it actually, it, it changes the effects. So you'll purchase a product, it will do its job, but if you with internal nutrition are not supporting those pathways, you're not allowing these great professionals to actually get the full product across and connect more biomass area. Okay, so which is why I'm here, because I'm providing charting and coding to athletes to perform like champions on and off the field. By offering STEM education through food uh, and bringing together business and families alike with neurological bioatomic nutrition, bringing food science to the kitchen and increasing the energy of plant life to increase performance within the human body. The process is my life goal, and that is to flatten the curve of nutritional illiteracy that has been around since the 1940s. In addition, the power of the word STEM has allowed me to be the only one locally, nationally, and dare I say globally, but I do, <laughs> to create and own the technological charting system that controls the algorithmic codes to optimize human health. You can find everything about me on my website at chefnico.com. Uh, I'm also available on Instagram at chef.nikko. And there will be a opportunity to copy and paste a link in the chat box or you can go to my profile here and hop in and you can click on the website link where it will bring you to my YouTube channel where I've animated a visual deep dive with Hollywood rendered graphics to take you on a visual exciting journey through the eyes of nutrition. And to sign up for Atomic Nutrition Coding, go to my vendor booth in the expo session where the nutrition of STEM technology it's just a click of a button. And now I just want to thank Reginald Grant and Jeff Walters as they are partners and teammates with me in cannabis, as well as athletes in cannabis. I thank John Moley of Pantry Brain as I am the face 
and virtual nutritional expert of my own app titled Pantry Brain. <laughs> Thank you to Rico Lamy and Dan Yo and other presenters in this event. As for the 40 top most influential athletes in cannabis, I greatly look forward to working with you. It is a pleasure and an honor to share this platform with everyone. And remember, food tastes better with STEM education. I thank you. I'll be here for the entire event. Let's have a conversation. Uh, you can locate me in the session. Please. Thanks, Chef. Absolutely. Appreciate you as always. Meet Chef Nico and uh, the network and the sessions, and we're rocking and rolling. So we have a few more presentations left. We'll go with um, Diane, I know, has the move. She's a VC and has a little information about that. Then we'll go with Ron Theus with Cosmic Cowboy, Tracy David, and John McCulley. So 